Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is one of the leading causes of neurological disability, affecting approximately 2.3 million people worldwide. In MS, the peak age of onset is around 30 years, and diagnosis is about two times more likely in women than in men. The symptoms of MS may include weakness in an arm or leg, sensory disturbances such as numbness, tingling and pain, problems with balance and lack of coordination, fatigue, cognitive impairment, and problems with vision, such as blurred or double vision. Most patients experience these symptoms as an initial series of recurrent deficits and remissions, which may be followed by progressive and worsening disability. In some patients, disability is continuously progressive from the onset of disease. The symptoms of MS are believed to result from underlying processes of inflammation and neurodegeneration. In particular, the inflammatory process causes destruction of myelin sheaths and axons, leading in turn to disruptions of neurotransmission. MS is characterized by increased permeability of the blood-brain barrier, allowing immune cells such as macrophages T-cells and B-cells to infiltrate into the CNS. The traditional view of MS pathophysiology holds that CD4-positive T-helper cells react with components of myelin and trigger an inflammatory cascade in the CNS, resulting in demyelination and axonal loss. However, B-cells, plasma cells and excess immunoglobulins are known to be present in both lesions and cerebrospinal fluid of patients with MS. This long-standing recognition has suggested that B-cells may also play key roles in the pathophysiology of MS. In humans, the bone marrow functions as a primary lymphoid tissue. B-cells arise from stem cells in the bone marrow, where they develop to form immature, naive B-cells. Further development occurs in the spleen or lymph nodes. At these sites, continuing maturation ultimately gives rise to either memory B cells or plasma cells. Some B cells, said to be autoreactive, have the capacity to recognize self-antigens. In healthy individuals, the developmental process includes checkpoints to limit the production of autoreactive B cells. In MS, some autoreactive B cells are able to bypass these checkpoints and grow to maturity. Following chemical signals, it has been shown that autoreactive B cells breach the blood brain barrier and traffic into the CNS, where they may contribute to MS pathobiology through different mechanisms that initiate and propagate inflammation. Four possible mechanisms of B-cell-associated pathophysiology in MS can be described. Antigen presentation, antibody production, cytokine regulation, and the formation of new lymphoid structures in the meninges. Antigen presentation may play an important role in the immune response. B-cells can recognize and internalize specific antigens. Intracellular processing generates fragments of antigen, which are subsequently displayed on the B-cell surface. Preclinical models suggest that, through antigen presentation and co-stimulation, autoreactive B-cells in the CNS may activate T-cells for a pro-inflammatory response. B-cells also receive activation and proliferation signals from T-cells during such interactions. Antibodies may be considered key effectors of humoral immunity. Preclinical data indicate that B cells, including autoreactive B cells, can differentiate into plasma cells, producing antibodies which may bind to myelin sheaths and oligodendrocytes. Bound antibodies can induce the deposition of complement proteins on tissue surfaces, promoting injury. Antibodies may also activate other immune cells, such as macrophages or natural killer cells, to destroy tissue. Immune cells coordinate their activity through the release of signaling molecules known as cytokines. 
B cells release a variety of cytokines, some of which promote inflammation, while others may be protective. It has been reported that B cells in patients with MS tend to produce more pro-inflammatory cytokines and less protective cytokines compared with healthy controls. In the meninges of patients with progressive MS, B cells may form ectopic lymphoid structures or germinal centers through the process of neolymphogenesis. These structures contain activated B cells and follicular dendritic cells, in addition to T cells, and may promote ongoing T cell activation within the brain. Ectopic lymphoid structures may be linked to microglial activation, local inflammation, and neuronal loss in the nearby cortex. In summary, B cells that target neural structures undergo abnormal development, bypass immune tolerance checkpoints, and may play multiple roles in the pathophysiology of MS. B cells express various surface receptors at different stages of their development. In MS, certain stages of B cell maturation may be crucial to determining the pathogenic activity of B cells. Current research is investigating whether the selective targeting of receptors expressed at specific stages of B cell maturation may potentially help to eliminate specific B cell subsets, including autoreactive B cell subsets that are pathogenic in MS.